State Attorney General standing by the DNA evidence linking death row inmate Anthony Sanchez to a 1996 rape and murder case. This as a lawmaker asked him to review that evidence to make sure any question over that evidence was cleared up. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from the AG's office. So Tom, what new insight do we have on this tonight? Well, Adam and Wendy, we got this letter from the AG here explaining why he's confident in the case against Sanchez. That lawmaker telling us he's satisfied with this office's review of the evidence. And just a warning to some of you watching at home, some of the details in this case might be disturbing. 21-year-old Julie Buskin was kidnapped, raped, sodomized, and murdered on December 20th, 1996 at Lake Stanley Draper, according to the Attorney General. He says DNA evidence found on her clothes squarely ties now 44-year-old Anthony Sanchez to the crime. This is about justice. This is about carrying out justice. This is about making sure our system is correct and doing the right thing. Republican J.J. Humphrey told Fox 25 a private investigator involved in Sanchez's case approached him with questions over the DNA evidence. Humphrey then reached out to the AG. He said he's not on anyone's side. He just wants to make sure everything was done properly. This is about a heinous crime being committed, victims in this crime, and are the victims being served right by executing the right person? Is the state of Oklahoma being served right? Sanchez's father reportedly confessed to the crimes before dying in 2022. In his response, the AG said investigators checked the father's DNA as well, but the conclusion linking Anthony to what happened almost 27 years ago stands. Humphrey is confident in the AG's determination on the case. I have no problem asking that we make sure that our process is right, making sure that we're honest, that we're fair, that we're equal, uh, that we treat everybody the same. That's what our, our criminal justice system is supposed to be. It's a serious thing to take a man's life. And again, let's make sure we're right. And Sanchez has maintained his innocence. He's scheduled to be executed next month. And tomorrow he is set to address his supporters during a press conference to respond to the attorney general's letter. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.